Good morning, grandkids. Uh, okay, it's time to read some mail and stuff like that. This first one is from Tina Aguilar. She sent me a nice little card that says thank you. Isn't that pretty? Dear Grandma, I am writing to you to tell you how much I love your videos. Anytime I play your videos, they never fail to make me smile. I'm so glad. More than that, they make my day. Great. Times have been hard lately for many reasons, but your videos are light in the dark. Thank you for being the most wholesome part of most everyone's day. Always be you. Much love, Tina. Thank you so much, Tina. That was very sweet. And I hope your days get better. But at least when you watch one of my games, I'm glad that makes you feel better. Thank you. You know what? This card is from Sassy. And uh, she's been telling me that she's going to get something in the mail to me. But the name on the envelope says Kimwell. I didn't know that was your last name. I assume this is from the same Sassy. But look. <laughs> There's no special reason for this card. Sometimes I just need to communicate with another classy human being. I saw this and thought of you. Lots of love, sassy. That's so funny. Look, look at this. That woman's just sitting there chilling out. Thank you so much, Sassy. I'm glad I finally got something. <laughs> this is from Tara Hall. It's a little to-go pouch, zippered top. You're kind of a legend, it says. And you're kind of a legend. I like all the mushrooms pictured on there. And the little, that little guy that's on there. Anyway, this is what's in it. She sent or he, I don't know. Elliot, it's a he. Ooh, look at on here. Hail Dragonborn. Oh, this is the card. This is from the state of Washington. Hello from the vibrant shores of the PNW. P N W. I guess N W is for Northwest, but I don't know what the P is. I have been a long time fan of yours and just wanted to send you some love. Thank you for being you, Granny Shirley. Safe travels on all of your adventures. We love you big. Tara, whose YouTube name is Mama Creepy. Ooh. And Thomas Brandon Elliot. Thank you so much. And let's see what else was in here. 
These are stickers, I guess. It's not sticky on the back, though, but I guess you peel it off. Look up to the stars. And this one also, I assumed, was a sticker, but I can't see how to peel anything off. The thief. I like to play the thief character in Skyrim. And then, look at this. This is a Target card. Very cool. It's for $25. Thank you so much. I'm going to go there and shop soon. <laughs> and I'll tell you what I got when I do. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I shall go and have some fun in Target. That goes in. put it back in there then I'll forget who it's from now this is a mystery to me see this bag it has this hanging on it but this came in a box and in the box on the box was no no return address to a person. It was a post office um, uh, address or something. Or YouTube, I mean uh, UPS or post office. I don't know. This is an IGP plush toy. And it's from, the company is JuniperCreates.com But look. Oh, this is the packaging that it came in. I hate trying to use that camera up on top of there. I never can get anything positioned right. Anyway, it's it says shipping department. Department doesn't give any names. But it's on whatever it's coming from this shipping department is on Sesame Street in Franklin Park North. I don't know where that's at. And there's no other name. There's nothing inside here. I've shook it out. I've looked inside. There's nothing in there. And this is what I got. And there's nothing on it. But let me show you what it is. Look at this. This, look, this is, this is coming out of his eye. And this one's coming out of the side of his head. And it's been wrapped, or coming out of the back of his body. It's wrapped around his neck. It's coming down around his foot. That's creepy coming out of his eye. And the face, the face looks like somebody that I talk with on YouTube who is, uh, their profile name is IGP. So I'm wondering if this is who this is from. I don't know. Nothing tells me. So whoever this is from, please let me know. He's creepy. <laughs> I, I hate that coming out of his eye. But he shall be standing on one or the other of my bookcases. Thank you, whoever it's from. If it's who I think it is, please let me know. Now we are down to my book. 
that is from S. Francis Tiger, who sent me that previous book. This one is The Sea of Pride. I showed it to you before, but I finally had time to finish it. <laughs> and it's really good. She, the, uh, the, um, Uh, that main character that's in the story she keeps accumulating more people to keep traveling with her and uh, they've gone across the sea uh, to a place that no one else can see uh, in the ocean uh, to find the portal that's supposed to be able to take her to another planet from which she or her family came. Uh, she's trying to get back there to find out who she really is because she's an adopted daughter of this family she's with and she wants to find her real family and two of the characters that are befriending her are from there and I, they're trying to help her get to there uh, I would think that they should know exactly how to get back there since they are from there, but that's kind of a mystery. So by the end, it of course leaves you with a cliffhanger, which I can't tell you. You're going to have to read it, The Sea of Pride. And I really enjoyed it. As I've said before, these books are about some older teenagers. Uh, they are, they are just out of high school. They were going to go to college, but now they're out on this adventure, and uh, I don't think they're ever going to be back in time for college. <laughs> but I am anxious to see if she and they get to her home planet. And if all of these, all of these people she has accumulated will go with her, or if some are going to stay behind. So we will see in the next book, I guess. But even though it's about teenagers, older teenagers, which I would never normally read that kind of book, I've really been enjoying this very much. So any of you out there that and go and get a hold of her books. You should do so because they're very interesting. Did I read this note she wrote me in the front of her book? That her, a dedication, I guess. It says, Miss Shirley, I hope dearly that you enjoy this volume of the Phoenix Chronicles as much as you did the first. This is my favorite novel of the series out of the four that I have written thus far. I can hardly wait to get the next one. The sheer adventurous tone of it, the places that Angel, Angel is the, the main character in the story, and her company visitors, the backstories revealed I hope you like it as much as I do. I did, very much, and I will be anxiously waiting for the next one. Thank you so much for sending these two volumes to me. I, I really enjoyed them. Surprised myself that I enjoyed them as much as I did. Thank you. Okay, what was the next thing I was going to talk about. Oh, this, I wanted to talk to you about the series that I was doing called Snake, and who has his sidekick Hoth. To me, Hoth had not turned out to be as much fun as I thought he would although I like looking at him. He's a really weird looking character. In Snake, 
I got, I downloaded a mod called Dark End, and it has been nothing going on there. Uh, everywhere I go, it's just skeletons that I run into and kill, and you know how easy it is to kill skeletons. And uh, I thought, well, maybe he's not high enough level for other things to be being produced in that mod. So I watched somebody else who had that mod, and I watched them play. They went all over the place in that mod, and, it, and that's still all it was. I think finally, right at the end, uh, they found a person. And I thought, I'm not going to play all that long a time when it's this boring to me. So I had fully intended to tell you this and to stop it, stop the series, or stop playing the end, and go back to the mainland and do something else with him. But what happened in real life is that I hadn't been doing any hard saves. I had just been doing quick saves. And this time I hard saved. And when I started, when I uploaded the game again and was going to make the next episode taking him back home, it was clear there was no games. It was clear back to the one right after the beginning of his series where I was making his character in the character creation window. And I have no intentions of playing all that way through that again. So that is the end of Snake. I'm sorry. Uh, that was my bad. I didn't even think of the fact that it would go that far back. But I hadn't done any hard saves until this one, and that's what took it back to the beginning. And I'm sorry, but I'm not going to go through it again. <laughs> I am going to be playing uh, Quigley, though. He's doing the different uh, dungeon delving. And so maybe today I'll be making the next video. I've got all next week done. Uh, do I have, uh, let me see, do I have another... It's today, the 26th. Oh, next week on Wednesdays the 31st, that'll be Snake's last day. That's when I did a hard save and went all the way back to the beginning. So next week will be the last of Snake. Next week will be the end of it. I keep I keep forgetting that I'm posting on one time and game plays are on another time. Maybe I shouldn't play so far ahead, I don't know. But I like to be ahead so that if there's anything else I want to do during the week, I have time to do it. Okay, so that's the only things I wanted to make you aware of. Uh I will get this posted <sighs> what's today the 28th I have a Quigley on Monday Tuesday I have to go sign my will at an office maybe during the day I'll have the morning free I'll try and post this on Tuesday morning for you and then Snake, the last one that I screwed up. Then Thursday is empty, and then Friday is another uh, chapter of my story that I'm writing. After that, nothing is done. So I will have to get something ready. So I will talk to you all later, and be good, have fun, and I will.
will see you next time. Bye-bye.